is up guys welcome back to the channel for another episode of retro reviews and today you guessed it by the title <laughs> another energy drink right yeah another flavor of c4 Boom! the flavor today though midnight cherry oh boy <laughs> I don't like che I typically don't like cherry drinks or cherry I, I don't like cherries period okay like if I get like a sundae and they put the little cherry on top I usually toss the cherry and you know get to the good stuff <laughs> um, but yeah like even cherries in the store like people eat them like that I just never could get into them okay so and then so, it, I mean, it goes, the same goes for f cherry flavored drinks. Um, now, you know, recently I've tried the uh, Bangs Black Cherry Vanilla. And, you know, that one wasn't bad. I mean, it still wasn't like a favorite. Okay. Um, but video coming, by the way, <laughs> of that one. I got so many energy drinks I'm doing and I got like videos. Like I'm trying to like catch up here. But, um, so yes, that video was currently brewing, okay? Um, but yeah, I remember in that, filming that video where it's like, the longer the, the drink sat out, kind of like the frozen bomb sickle, right? When it, when the chill came off some, I liked it a little more than I did initially when I drank it, like when it was like very chilled, you know, like right out of the fridge, just chilled as possible, right? Um, it, I get, when some when some of the chill came off, it, it was actually more enjoyable. So that may sound weird, but have you guys ever experienced that? I mean, I know like they suggest like some wines, you know, that they're very like if you if you would ever talk to some wine connoisseurs, right? And they're like you know very specific, like okay, it has to be exactly this way they're like all right it's chilled and then and they got it down to like how many how many minutes to like set it out to where it's like to where it's perfect in their mind right so maybe they they could come up, up with some off the wall number like 17 minutes like ex exactly 17 minutes then it's it's perfecto in their minds right so i know it is a thing like especially i've, I've heard that with wines okay or if they said if you uh, fill, like for people doing wine tastings, okay, um, they have the wheel, the wine chilled in an ice bucket, but they would say only fill the ice like halfway. Don't like don't like completely submerge the bottle in uh, in ice, but only like f like only halfway up, right? So it's like it's got some ice, but not like you know. So it's a little chilled. So it it is a thing, especially with wines, but. I'm, I've noticed this, uh, the same thing about these energy drinks, like, especially the the ones that I don't really care for that much, or, or just, they're so-so, like these, like cherry, or ones that are tart, or sour, I found that those type drinks, the longer they sit out, the more flavor I get, the more, the more, the more enjoyable it is to me. So that's just uh, something I've noticed. Yeah, let me know if you guys have noticed anything similar. You know, I, I'm I'm curious. Like, you know, am I the only one <laughs> that that is uh, has you know has noticed that? But anyways, back to business here. Let's get into the specs of this drink. So with C4, you're of course you got your great numbers. I like the zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. It's like bam, bam, bam. Triple zero, all right, love those numbers. Also, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Pretty good, right? Pretty solid, pretty good dose. And then, of course, Bang's patented exclusive, explosive performance energy blend with the Carnison and the Beta Power, 6.73 milligram. No, I, I correct myself, 6.73 grams of that energy blend that's that's like a serious dose of something so if you think about it uh, six like 
because some people don't, you know, compare like milligrams to grams, okay? That Rockstar Thermo has 1,000 milligrams of BCAAs, right? How that, tr basically, 1,000 milligrams is one gram. So think about that. So this C4 has six, almost seven grams. That, so basically that's 7,000 milligrams. Or, you know, six, basically 6,700 milligrams, right? So I just wanted to point that out. Like, it's a significant dose. It's a significant amount and, and a drink, you know. Most, most companies don't, well, as far as like any kind of energy blend, most the most most companies only put like two to three grams. This one more than doubles, right? Anything else? So I give C4 credit. I I tip my hat to them, right? <laughs> All right. So that's about it for the specs. So I think it's time for the moment of truth and crack it open and taste it out. Let's do a smell test first. Yum, cher cherries. <sighs> I really hope I like this, but I, again, I'm, I'm not. I don't have high hopes, but because I don't like cherries typically. But since it's midnight cherry, maybe it's like darker and got some other things going on. Let's find out. definitely cherry but it's not like terrible I, I'm 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 pleasantly surprised I mean it's not as bad as I thought it would be let's go on for another here yeah well it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be I, I like it better than I thought um, I don't really know. I mean, the midnight, I guess it's more of a dark cherry. That's the only thing I can say. It's, it's really cherry and that's it. There's not, nothing really else going on. So I would say, yeah, like dark cherries, a dark cherry flavor. And that's, you know, they, they come up with that cool, mid, midnight cherry sounds cooler, right? <laughs> it's like midnight. Ooh, that's kind of like. You know, midnight is like kind of a luring sound, you know, that, that sounds cooler, right? Midnight cherry. Midnight cherry sounds better than dark cherry. Dark cherry just sounds like plain and boring. So midnight cherries, ooh. <laughs> That's just my uh, honest, straightforward, you know, um, not no sugarcoating it thoughts. Okay, so let's rank it. Flavor, it's got a, I'm going to say it's medium on the flavor, medium to high on the flavor. Uh, medium to high on the carbonation. Just, um, I'm going to say, mm, I'm going to say low to medium on the sweetness because it's not, you know, you, you probably can imagine uh, cherry, dark cherries aren't like that sweet. There is some tartness there, but not too bad on the tartness, so it's kind of, you know, and again, I probably, I'm going to wait and see, you know, because as it continues to like some of the chill to come off, I'm going to see if I like enjoy it, you know, even more um, than I, you know, than I did on those first two swigs. So let's rank the taste, the flavor. Um, I'm going to put it right there with the, um, well... I'm gonna put it just a tad above the uh, frozen bomb sickle. I do like it a little, just just a just a teensy <laughs> bit more than the uh, frozen bomb sickle. So I'm gonna give it a 7.7. 7. Pretty good, especially for not especially coming from a guy that doesn't really care for, for cherries or cherry flavored drinks, right? So if you're cherry drink gets a 7.7 .7 from me, then you got it pretty good. 
So, yeah, I'm gonna take one more. I usually do three, three tastings, three drinks on a video, just to, you know, just to be sure. Any final thoughts, you know? It's enjoyable, you know? It'll probably be more enjoyable, like, I'm gonna uh, get ready to crack open a can of tuna fish here, make me some barbecue tuna. It'll probably be like more enjoyable with food, with a meal, for, for me, right? It, it wouldn't be one where I would want to like just drink it um, by itself. With, I, I think I would I, I'm going to enjoy it uh, better with food. Some drinks do that. You know, some drinks go better when you pair it with food. Like wines. I know, I know energy drinks and wine are like, t can be, you know, two totally different worlds there. But, I, but there are some similarities, right? like that like just sometimes food can uh elevate it right and make it a more enjoyable experience and that's really what your go your goal should be is make it the make everything guys the best experience possible that you can it's all we can do right just do do what we can do and try try different things out and you know see what we can do right and uh, you know, like see what we can come up with, see what we like, see what we don't like. So I think I've rambled on uh, about enough here <laughs> uh, about this. You guys pretty much get the idea from this drink. It's good. I'd, I'd recommend it, especially if you like cherries. If you like cherries, you'll love it. I don't even like cherries, and I, I still think it's it's okay. You know, it ain't bad. So if you really like cherries, then you'll you'd probably like give it two thumbs up. So if you have seen it or tried it, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Is it one that you like? And tell me some of your favorite drinks. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. If this is your first time to the channel, tap that red subscribe button down there. Then the bell next to it. Ding, ding. And that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos, okay? So until next time, guys, keep it retro. Okay, so like the tropical, the, the Rockstar Thermo Tropical Fire that I like has 1,000 milligrams of the uh, green tea extract, right? Or wait. Shit. Is it the green tea extract? Or no, no, it's the green tea extract, damn it. What is it? <laughs> this will be the bloopers, right? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I got my uh, stash box of my stash of uh, empty cans here for <laughs> use for reference. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Anyways. 